Ethan and Lily, two tech-savvy friends, plan to meet at their favorite local library to indulge in their shared passion for computer technology. As they entered the library, their excitement grew, knowing they were about to embark on a fascinating journey of knowledge. Have you ever wondered about the various types of computer memory and how they work? Absolutely. I've heard of terms like RAM, ROM, and flash memory, but I'd love to know more about their differences and uses. Let's start with RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. It's a type of volatile memory that allows the computer to store and access data quickly. When the computer is turned off, the data in RAM is lost. However, it's crucial for running applications and multitasking efficiently. Do you have any experience with upgrading your computer's RAM? Not yet, but I've been considering it to improve my computer's performance. I heard that more RAM allows you to run multiple programs simultaneously without experiencing slowdowns. Exactly. Adding more RAM can indeed enhance multitasking capabilities. Now, let's talk about ROM, which stands for read-only memory. Unlike RAM, ROM is non-volatile memory, meaning it retains data even when the computer is powered off. It contains permanent instructions and data necessary for booting up the computer. Have you ever encountered firmware updates for devices? Yes, I remember updating the firmware on my smartphone. So, that means the firmware is stored in ROM. Absolutely! Firmware updates modify the instructions stored in the ROM of devices to improve performance, fix bugs, or add new features. Now, let's move on to flash memory. Have you ever used a USB drive or an SD card? Yes, I use USB drives all the time to transfer files. Is that an example of flash memory? Exactly. Flash memory is a type of non-volatile memory that can be electrically erased and rewritten. It's commonly found in USB drives, memory cards, and solid-state drives, SSDs. Flash memory provides high-speed access to data and is known for its durability and compact form factor. Are there any other types of computer memory that we should explore? Definitely. There's also cache memory, which is a small, high-speed memory that bridges the gap between the processor and main memory. It stores frequently accessed data and instructions, reducing the time the processor spends waiting for data from slower main memory. Cache memory plays a crucial role in improving computer performance. As Ethan and Lily continued their conversation, they delved into topics like virtual memory, secondary storage, and emerging memory technologies. They enthusiastically shared their knowledge, asked thought-provoking questions, and eagerly absorbed new information from each other. The library transformed into a haven of learning as they immersed themselves in the intriguing world of computer memory. With a promise to reconvene soon, Ethan and Lily left the library, feeling inspired and excited to continue their exploration of computer memory, knowing they had deepened their understanding through their enlightening discussion.